Pi bonding gives rise to an extra source of stabilization in molecules called delocalization energy. We saw an example of this in discussing the resonance structures uh, that stabilized benzene in our discussion of Lewis structures. To analyze this delocalization, we're going to simplify our linear combination of atomic orbitals theory by introducing the approximations that form the so-called Huckel model. These are the approximation used originally in chapter 2, that the overlap matrix element is just a delta function, i.e. Sij is 1 if i equals j, otherwise 0. And we're going to give a value of um, alpha to the on-site uh, interaction matrix elements. And then for the interaction between nearest neighbors, the hopping matrix element, we're going to give a value uh, beta. So with these simplifications then, we'll turn to discuss the delocalization stabilization of um, an unsaturated molecule. What do I mean by an unsaturated molecule? Well, let's consider the butane molecule C4H10, which I'll draw like this. where at the end of all these bonds here, we put a hydrogen, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 hydrogens. This is a saturated molecule because all of the possible uh, carbon valencies uh, that can have hydrogens reacted with them do. An unsaturated version is butadiene, C4H6, and this then looks like this. We now have double bonds, SP hybridization between pairs of the carbons. And so to complete the valences now, we add hydrogens like this. And you can see this then is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, C4, H6. The PZ orbitals involved in the formation of these double bonds um, are the ones that give rise to the delocalization energy. And so we can model butadiene as a row of four PZ states, uh, each having one electron coming from its parent carbon. We'll see, in fact, that for many unsaturated molecules, the highest occupied molecular orbital is a pi state, and the lowest unoccupied molecular orbital is a pi star state. And this leads to many of the uh, characteristic properties of unsaturated molecules. So here then is the secular determinant uh, where we have used uh, the Huckel approximation, dropping the uh, S uh, overlap uh, matrix elements and leaving just alpha and beta as the two parameters. We have four electrons, so the secular determinant is a four by four determinant. We can simplify this determinant by introducing this definition x equals alpha minus e over beta, and the result is then this secular determinant that you see here with just x's along the diagonal and 1's off the diagonal. Multiplying uh, out this determinant leads to this fourth order equation in x, and uh, we solve that again for x squared. Here is the result, two roots for x squared and correspondingly four possible roots for x. So let's just remind ourselves that uh, x is alpha minus e over beta, and this then res results in e is alpha minus beta x. And recall that there are these four values for x plus or minus 1.618 and plus or minus 0 0.618 times beta. Also recall that beta is a negative number because it corresponds to the attractive interaction between a neighboring proton and an electron. So here what I have done is to list these four orbitals in order of energy. So alpha plus the largest value of beta, i.e. alpha plus 1.618 beta is the lowest lying orbital, 
and then alpha plus the next largest value of beta, 0 0.618, is the next highest lying orbital. So these two then form the pi orbitals of the whole molecule, and they take up the 1, 2, 3, 4 electrons available uh, to these uh, row of p uh, states that we describe the molecule by. Now, when we sum up the energy of the occupied pi states, we see something very interesting. It turns out to be 4 alpha plus 4.472 beta. Remember again, beta is a negative number, so the energy of the molecule is lower than the energy of two separate ethene molecules. That would be a C, um, C2H4 molecule. And so you see here, uh, we would just have 4 alpha and 4 beta for the occupied states. So by forming this longer butadiene molecule, we have decreased the energy uh, of the molecule of this electrons in these p states overall and formed a more stable molecule. What's going on can be shown if we substitute these values of energy uh, back into the, um, a, the equation for the coefficients uh, of the wave functions, uh, the coefficients with which these pz states must be added. And what we discover is the lowest lying orbitals um, correspond to the most gentle variation of the wave function across the atom. So this um, orbital down here, with the lowest energy of the lot, corresponds to a smooth uh, change of amplitude of the sum of the pz states as one goes across the molecule. The next lowest lying orbital here corresponds to a more rapidly varying uh, change of phase. You see the signs of the lobes changes once as we go, so plus, plus, minus, minus, as we go along the molecule. The two pi star states correspond to a more rapidly uh, changing probability distribution. You see here we have plus, minus, minus, plus, and here plus, minus, plus, minus. So <clears throat> this delocalization energy leads to some very interesting uh, properties of organic molecules. The molecule at the top of the slide here is carotene, named after the fact that carrots contain this molecule, and carotene is the molecule that makes them red. The redness comes from the optical absorption of electrons in this very long box. It turns out that if the box is made any longer, the stabilization uh, energy becomes comparable to Kt, and the electrons begin to localize. So carotene, Mother Nature has selected in carotene about the longest uh, unsaturated molecule that can be used to absorb light. The lower part of the slide uh, illustrates a photochromic molecule. For those of you who have glasses that adjust their tint as a function of the ambient light level, uh, these are made with photochromic molecules. These work by using a, uh, the absorption of an ultraviolet photon uh, to cause the conjugation around this part of the chain here to change. Here you see it goes from um, pi-type orbitals to sigma orbitals, and so the electrons are not delocalized over the middle of the molecule. Here you see an alternating single, double, single, double, single bond uh, type of uh, pi orbital, and so this molecule will now absorb vis visible light, whereas this molecule will not.